He's pushing up long. Yo, he's behind you. He's moto double. He's coming up long, right? And then you fucking swing this guy. Bap. You smoke him in the face. You win the round. Before we get to the rest of the video, guys, I want to let you know about today's sponsor, Buff. Buff is a platform that allows you to earn points that you can then trade in for free stuff simply by playing your favorite games. The thing that I really like about Buff is they are serious about the games you can earn points through. Literally every game I play at the moment, I'm collecting points, whether it's Valorant, CSGO, Rocket League, and of course, Rainbow Six. That's my short list of games, but there's way more than just that. After playing and completing in-game challenges, you can then trade in those points for gift cards, game keys, and even some gaming equipment. Buff is also an authorized Overwolf app, so it's completely safe to run without any mining or resource hogging going on. All you need to do is install it, and it will subtly run in the background and collect points while you play. It's super simple and very easy to use. The way I see it is I'm already playing the games anyway, so I might as well get some free stuff at the same time. One last thing is thanks to Buff, I'll be giving away five $10 Steam cards all you have to do is go download buff with the link in the description and then leave a comment after saying hashtag downloaded buff. So go join buff for free with the link in the description below. And now let's get back to the video. Starting off on clubhouse, we have the famous dirt tunnel. Okay. Everybody knows this is dirt tunnel. Y you know, you, you break this open. Sometimes people play here. Honestly, there's not really calls for this. Like I would just call this like the first bend. Like, he's around the first bend. He's close. Like, close dirt. Or he's, like, the second bend. Or he's, like, the third bend. But a lot of time you see, like, a shield set up and people would just be playing me on the shield. So this would be just, like, the dirt shield, right? So obviously the counter the dirt shield, you want to break the dirt shield. So you can nade it. You can run down here with blitz. These are all great ways to get dirt control. I'm personally a fan of the blitz just because I love blitz and so many people hate them. So, like, running down here with the blitz is a great way to counter the player playing in dirt. So this would be the dirt door. This is the door into dirt. Nobody plays here, though. It's not like a spot. And then this is the AK rack. So the AK rack is actually pretty commonly played. People can watch the kitchen hatch from here. You can kind of hold dirt from here. You can hold blue a little bit. This would be another good spot for a shield or like a Wamai because you can put the Wamidas up here for like anything coming through the hatch um, or even a warden. If they're going for like the smoke plants or whatever, a warden here would also be good. But basically to counter this spot is getting blue control or getting dirt control because those are the two spots you can actually kill this player from right so if you have blue control you can easily just swing into here and kill that guy if he doesn't have a shield or whatever if he does you break it or you come down dirt you get a drone on him you know he's there you can throw a nade back here or you can cook a grenade and throw it back there or you can just come in and usually you can kind of take him out like that or like nade this spot this is a pretty easy gunfight to take from dirt so that's ak rack and then you got box three two and one so i usually start off one two three i think some people do it the other way around like one two three either way this is easier just to call dummies anyway because of these dummies here so i would just call this dummies box two is always going to be in the middle regardless of which one and then you have the bomb the bomb it would normally be here so rather than calling a box one two three because some people go one two three some people go one two three like either way i would just go dummies box two and the bomb if you're a defender playing this spot you're usually sitting like this to cover yourself from the hatch or you're sitting like uh sorry you're sitting like this to cover yourself from the hatch and dirt or you're sitting on this side to cover yourself from the hatch in the hallway because if you're on this side you're exposed to bottom main so that's when like putting a shield here is also pretty good with some ads's or whatever because then you can watch the full hallway um but you can also like peek up the hatch here this is super easy to kill a guy just from nading them from the hatch as well or bottom main of course so if you have a guy in dirt and you have a guy bottom main this guy can't sit anywhere safely here without a shield or some sort of utility because he's going to be exposed to one of the two right if you do have that shield this is a really powerful position to play in because you can not only quick peek and contest dirt but you can hold the kitchen hatch drop as well not a lot of people really play here that often what you're probably more likely to see is these guys in deep armory which pretty much every rank up to platinum or or diamond even people just sit here and hold everything from here and it's ridiculous they hold the hash drop and nobody opens this floor and that's the counter to this dude open the floor you can ash it you can zofia it you can buck it you can sledge it you can floors it you can breeze charge it you can blah 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 and yeah sure they might go for nitro sometimes they bring a pulse here so it's a little scary but it's still important to get this open because if you don't open it they are very very safe playing this mission at least if you open it and don't use the holes they're still concerned with the holes above them right people play deep army way too often you want to definitely go into kitchen open up the floor on them and clear them out of these spots because this this is just a really really strong position because of the fact you can watch the hatch and you can watch dirt but you can also make these you can also make punch holes to watch moto from here so if you're a defender playing this spot 
or retaking this spot like this is where you'd see um like i've retaken this spot before and ranked and whatever and it's just so powerful because you can contest all these different areas but it's fairly safe if the floor is still closed so if they don't open this floor 100 percent play here if you can oh yeah this is this would be like deep armory deep armory under the hatch this is usually called dark spot so it's just like the darker corner where a lot of people will plant at right so either they'll be planting dark spot or they'll be planting on the bomb and you can actually nitro both these plants from the church double door you just have to be careful of the kitchen hatch or you can just smoke it from church which is more ideal because you can throw the smokes farther and it's a lot safer all right so from dummies you usually have this rotate into blue so this would be blue or generator where you'll play with jaeger ads's or one midas here playing this spot is also really good especially if you have some barbed wire or some proximities on these hallways to know if anyone's pushing down because then you can swing off of that info pre-firing the people here who are exposed in the middle of the open um and if they don't open this hatch playing in this spot is also really really strong because it's like this off angle that typically you'd be able to kill them from the hatch but you can then peek both areas a little better you can hold these kind of angles playing in blue is really really strong because with blue control they can't kill this ak guy right and that ak guy from earlier is the guy that can contest dirt contest hallway contest the kitchen drop so if you have blue control the whole time not only can you contest dirt from here but you can contest you can keep this ak guy up and alive which is really really important now to kill this guy blue you can open the hatch and either get two people one with flashes one with grenades throw the flashbangs down to burn throw the grenades at the same time and you try to nade them out of here or you just get a double pinch going one down this staircase one down this staircase try to get rid of the utility first and then you kind of pinch this guy um and try to fight him i find that usually pushing from oil is the easier option like winning this gunfight for whatever reason is pretty easy as an attacker usually i like to bring nades just so i can need this side and then i just can pre-fire this right because he has to run from the nade so that works sometimes uh but it can be it can be difficult to clear people out of the blue that's why you see in rank so many times like a lot of people just do these kitchen dirt takes because this blue gen guy is tough to kill okay so then you got the rotate into church so this is church wow church um this is boxes or or blue yeah this actually yeah these used to be black so i think they are still called black boxes this is brown or bar you know it's pretty easy to call stuff just based off the colors that's usually pretty much how it goes the callouts in north america will differ from like other regions like i know a lot of the european callouts are a lot different so you kind of just have to work with whatever rank even like di throughout different ranks the callouts might be different so if you're not sure what a call is like just ask like straight up like i do this I do this. If I don't know what it is, I'll just ask. You know, you don't have to feel stupid because it's not like you can know every possible variation for every callout in the game, you know? So this is a vending machine. Because you, So a lot of people... Like, you can plant here. This is also a really underrated plant spot because you can plant there and have a guy cover you from blue like this, but he can also kind of watch the wide swing. So planting vending machine is also super underrated if you can get church control. And then you have jukebox. Nobody really plays here. If you're playing here, literally the counter, this is droning this guy out. This is a really good spot to play with a shotgun though, if they are going for this church shake. So like a mute or a smoke here, you can time stall with your smokes, play a shotgun here. And then if they open that main breach, you can kind of deny the black plant from here, or if you have a nitro. So like a mute, smoke are both really good options here because you can play closer to the shotgun. And then countering this, the guy playing here is just nading him from the moto hatch or nading him off the door. Cause a lot of time there's not ADS, it's not really with Midas here. So throwing a nade in through this door, you can kill this guy pretty, pretty relatively, relatively easily, I would say. Either that or you get a guy bottom main just holding this angle on him. And then when he backs up a little too far, he gets shot in the back or whatever. So this is a pretty tight spot to play. If you are playing it, you want to play it pretty passive. You want to kind of not expose yourself the best you can. And then if you hear a nade pull, you probably want to swing because you're probably going to get naded and die. Uh, this is Moto. This is just like the Moto hop up usually um there's not really any like weird corners you can sit in this so usually it's just moto moto uh moto door bending uh short so this hallway is called short and this hallway is called long as you can see this hallway is longer and this hallway is shorter so these are call outs you would give off the default cam if you're a good teammate and gonna watch cameras so you can say there's a guy bottom main you can hear him off the camera there's a guy bottom main okay he's going short he's going towards moto he's in moto he's close on your moto door he's on your church door right now you can swing with a shotgun. Boom, he's dead. You win the round. There you go. Or he's pushing up long. Yo, he's behind you. He's moto double. He's coming up long, right? And then you fucking swing this guy. Bap, you smoke him in the face. You win the round. This one is beer, actually. This this callout is good because a lot of people will sit here and 
maybe they'll have a shield here or they'll just be holding the breach but they're kind of covered from bottom main so this one's good as well to know is just beer uh it's not really seen super often but in comp it's probably seen a little more frequently down the hallway by that ladder that would be oil pit and then we have secret stairs or blue stairs so secret side and oil side now if you go into oil nobody has callouts for these this is just he's in the he's in the pit he's hiding an oil pit and then you use your compass being like northwest corner like the close right this one is all like calling off perspective because like if somebody's sitting here they're just a fucking loser so then you come up secret stairs and now you're in secret by the secret window okay if you're going to be your blue player this is typically where you want to start off in the round because you can shoot a drone coming from garage if they don't drone this out and just hop in secret window you're getting yourself a free kill so playing here is a really good spot to play at the start now if you have a pre-placed drone in here so say i have a drone on the racks and prep phase and i know a guy's here the easiest way to kill this guy is with a grenade it's always gonna be with a grenade now if you don't have a grenade you don't want to hop in this window he will head glitch the stairs he will absolutely beam you you're gonna die you're gonna have to try to make your way through stock into lounge to fight him face on so moving into here we have i don't want to go quite into garage yet but this would be bottom red so this area here would just kind of be bottom red and swamp door because this garage area is called swamp so this little staircase here you know it's a little lower it's a little stinky looking it's a little smelly kind of like a swamp right so this is swamp so you go from kind of red stairs to bottom red and this is easy to remember because the walls are all red to bottom red to swamp so this would be the swamp bottom red area and then this is the lounge area then you kind of have this spot which is this is a good spot to hold the front door a lot of people do this you can kind of see their feet and then shoot them through the front door on this um, this would just be lounge stairs because it's just short little staircase. A lot of people will play by this area and then bottom red is more towards like the bottom of the staircase or towards the secret door. So like secret door, swamp door, lounge stairs, bottom red, lounge, and then stock. And stock, you don't really need callouts in stock. They're in, if they're in stock, they're in stock. There's nowhere they can hide. Stock behind the racks in stock. You know, you can make punch holes in this. This is actually kind of nasty. You can open up this wall and see into bottom garage. The counter to this is just like coming up through secret on them or day from front door. This guy is pretty much ignore this guy until you need to go for a plant. And then you kill him as you're going for the plant so he can't stop the plant. Red stairs is actually a really good spot to play if you are CC because it is good to kind of hold these kind of areas until you're droned out or until they take them just to like catch anyone off guard like you do want to extend out of sight a bit so playing bottom red is a good spot to play at the start and the counter of this would just be you go if you go deep out this front door you can just win a gunfight against a smoke smg 11 or whatever it is so what i like to do on this is i'll come all the way out here and just hold like an angle onto bottom red then if they do kind of peek the front door if they don't sprint if they sprint across i'm probably not gonna kill them but if they actually peek me and try to take a fight on me here I can probably just like one tap them or kind of like beam them off this angle because I have a better gun. I'm at range. And if they smoke me off that, I'm going to just be impressed. Just straight up be like that guy earned that that guy earned that one. Either that or you come in through secret and you just mow them down with a Finca LMG or whatever it may be. So we go into garage, you come out of swamp and then you have this sort of area, which is just be like the motorcycle. A lot of people will play back here and hold the garage door walk in. So this would be like, I don't, I don't really know. I just call it motorcycle. If you're sitting behind this motorcycle, you're just probably going to get smoked. But either way, if they're behind one of the two motorcycles, you do not want to challenge them from this door. So the key to playing this spot is you're just sitting here holding these weird ass angles on this door for anyone that tries to peek into it. And you're going to do that until they open up this, this garage wall. If you're not reinforcing these garage walls, first of all, you need to start reinforcing these garage walls on your CCTV defense because these garage walls reinforce allow you to play this bottom garage area, which is really, really strong. So until the attackers come and open this, you want to just keep holding this. You want to keep contesting this. You can come over here and contest swamp. Uh, you can do a lot from here. So holding bottom garage is really strong. Counter to that is opening up the bottom of the garage wall. If they open up this wall, you just leave. Just leave. You're going to die if you stay here. You're going to get pinched from both sides. It's awful. So you have the motorcycles uh g1 and g2 so garage one and garage two this is really easy to remember because you have these labels for them up in the rafters so that's garage one that's garage two if you're playing Cade, you can put your k claws right under each label and that will land right in the center and then um they won't be able to shoot those claws these claws and rafters are really really good so g1 g2 this is a the, the, there's a grinder here so this is grinder and then this is Harry Potter. So anywhere under a staircase is usually just called Harry Potter because he lives under the stairs, um, which is pretty straightforward. So Harry Potter, grinder, motorcycles, G1, G2, garage door, the door to garage. That one's pretty self-explanatory. And then you have the garage stairs, 
and rafters. So this general area is rafters. If you know one's generally in somewhere around here, he's in rafters. So say like you have a guy in the breach and there's one guy over there on site and there's one guy in garage, but you know, don't know exactly where he is, but you're trying to tell your team like, you're trying to tell your teammate that there's one on either side of him, right? So you'd say, okay, there's one cache or red and there's one rafters. Cause you don't know exactly where he's at unless you have a drone on him. In that case, you have R1, you have R2, you have R90, 90 degree angle, and then you have rafters window or garage window because this is the only window in garage. So calling garage window does not confuse anybody. And typically you'll want to be playing R2 as a defender with you know, your rotate or your head holes here, reinforcing this wall. So what this allows you to do is R90, you can get seen from the breach. R1, you can be seen from the breach, but R2, look at that. If this wall is reinforced, they cannot see you from the breach and they cannot see you from garage door. So this allows you to quick peek off the garage door you can kind of come over and peek the breach if you want. You can hold the push into server from here. Um, and this is just like the typical rafter spot to play because it's the safest of all the spots in rafters. What I like to do is bring a zombie, throw my zombies here, and then I can play anywhere along here, peeking off it on the breach, peeking off on the door. It adds tons of extra cover. It makes you much easier to move around. So I love playing a zombie in rafters. But to counter this, you have a couple options. You can either take bottom garage control and nade this guy out of here, and as you're nading him, you have a guy in the breach watching him to run away from the nade. Or you can capital fire him out of here. Um, or you can go on this breach. And this is why I'd recommend like Thermite for Clubhouse. Because Thermite is, is so good for opening these outer walls. And then you can save your ace charges for the range breach. So if you bring an ace or a Habana and you open up this wall, this Rafters guy in R2 is then exposed to the breach no matter where he goes, right? He's here, he's exposed to the breach. He's here, he's exposed to the breach. He's always exposed to the breach. So he then either has to go prone and beg not to die, beg for his life kind of thing. Maybe he holds the stairs like this and just hopes that he doesn't die, but he's probably going to get beamed by the kid pushing up the stairs. Or he peeks, he dies, whatever. That's a really easy way to get control of rafters, but rafters itself is a very powerful position that most people do not know how to clear. So playing in rafters, R2 here especially, getting good at it, is a great way to just win more CC defenses in general. So then you typically add the bomb here, and then this plant spot would be like the default plant. Opening below the default plant is really good, just in general as a defender, because if you open the default plant and they plant on it and you have a guy underneath, whether or not he has a nitro, he can shoot the guy that's planting. So if you have a shotgun, just opening beside the default holes is a great way to do it. So you have server window, garage window, you know, he opt in server window. He's running at your face. He's going to shoot you in the dick. Uh. And then you have like just the bomb. So some people play behind the bomb. So if you see a guy playing here, like holding the breach like this, just try to get one of your teammates to go to the server window because this guy can't play here if you're on the server window. You can shoot him in the back. That being said, if, you, if nobody is pressuring you from server window, play here as a defender because it's super strong. They can't push in anywhere with this. You can help contest um, the push up the rafters from here. You can peek the breach if they're standing on the breach. Um, playing here is pretty good. The only thing is like if they do go server window, you're kind of screwed to sprint away because then they'll just kill you from the breach when you run away if they're good. Um, but this would just be like the server bomb spot. This is called like the server rack, but it can get confusing calling server rack in general. So I like to call this area skinny. This is a tough call out for a lot of people. So I genuinely just call this like skinny or sandwich because it's like between the two kind of thing. But nobody really knows that call out. So like you're probably never going to be able to call this. You could say he's on the soft wall. You know, he's planting on the soft wall. Some people do plant here as like an off spot, but you're, most of the time you're not going to even need, need to call that. And then you have this plant spot as well, which is like on the breach, uh, planting breach, or he's planting red door. This would be the door to red hall. So this is red hall, this is red stairs, and then this is top red. So top red, red hall, red stairs. Playing top red is, is a super good position because you can head glitch the rafters here. You can kind of peek off the side as well. Um, you can hold an angle onto rafters like this. And of course, the counter is pushing up red stairs or nading up red stairs and trying to kill this guy. So you nade up red stairs, push at the same time, take control of red. But it is kind of scary because people can sit here with a shotgun like this, shooting the top of the head. They can swing down on you while you do it. Um, there's a lot of different angles you can hold on red stairs. Red stairs is another very powerful position. This is where you'll see a lot of anchors play um, because you also can't get naded through the floor on it. Unlike cash, where the entire floor is soft, you can aid everything here from lounge, and you can aid everywhere in CCTV from lounge as well. Uh, here or red is usually where I throw the shield. But this area is called tuck, or some people call it dark spot. Some people call it radio because of the radio. Uh, but typically, it's just tuck, like the tuck of CC. 
So CC tuck or CC door, and that leads into cash room. In cash room, you have green box, the cash table. I don't even know what this is called. Nobody, nobody plays here. L desk, I guess you could say, or like North cash desk. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want but a lot of people will sit behind green box this is another good spot to play if they're especially if they're pushing con you have the bomb uh you have to be careful now because they can go prone and shoot your feet since the rework uh so it is a little scarier and ideally you're not playing there anymore if they are pushing con um but you can nade this guy through the floor as well as an attacker which is literally the easiest way to clear him either that or you go prone and con and shoot his feet which could end up with him just peeking over the top and shooting you in the top of the head as you're shooting his feet but Hey, that's kind of the way she goes sometimes. And then you have this spot, which would just be like the cash soft wall. Sometimes you can wall bang this guy from server window. So this is a good way to counter this guy's server window if you see him on a drone or whatever. But most people like won't sit there. Or either that or you just beam him through the wall of the plat. Because if you're just spraying through this wall, a lot of time you can just kill people pretty easily. And then you have the cash single wall. So this would be cash single. Uh, this is where like a bandit trick would go down. But again, soft floor, nading them through the floor is the easiest way to go about that. Next up, we got construction. So this is a construction room. As you can tell, there's some, some minor construction going on. So that's an easy way to remember that. Also, guys, if you see the bottom middle of my screen, it says the room you're in. So if you guys just want general callouts, just look at your compass and walk through a map and be like, oh, that's what this is called construction. This is called bedroom. 2F is second floor, second floor construction, second floor bedroom. Um, I mean, most people call it the bedroom master, but people know what you're saying if you just know what the general rooms are called as well. We have the uh, construction box. This is, I, I, I honestly, I don't really know what people call this. The toolbox, I guess, like there's a toolbox on it. Now, this isn't really a call out, like construction box. It's really the only like box in construction because this is called pallets or stacks. Um, but you can hide behind here. A lot of time the drone will see your feet through it though, so it's not really ideal because they'll either come in pre-firing you or they'll wall bang you from the logy wall, which is how you counter that. But playing stacks is, is usually a better option because this gunfight is a little more favorable. Of course, if you see a guy holding this like this, again, go to the logy wall and open this wall on him or shoot him through this wall or go to the construction window and wall bang him through the window because like taking the one-on-one -on -one gunfight here, you're probably gonna lose as an attacker if you're the defender's sitting behind here. And then this would just be like, uh, sheet metal sheet or um, some people call it like great or like half wall I guess you could technically call it uh, this is another good spot as a defender to hold because you have a major advantage holding this little pixel on the door of course and again opening this logy wall is the best way to do it so if you're doing a master take just opening this wall and getting control of it this way is just the, literally this most simple way to take con control if you're coming over from like gym side over for like a CCTV attack so this is the construction window, construction door, master door. Uh, you have the master bed. So if you're actually on this bomb site where the bomb's at now, um, this master bed's actually a really good spot. So typically you'll have a rotate here. This is the way you should have it at least. You'll have some footholds here now. This would be just shotgun footholds. Hope like ideally not ones you can get through. Playing this master bed is really good because not only can you go prone here, you can actually shoot people's toes through here and actually get a lot of kills pretty easily through there. You can contest the master window from here. You're safe to play in this corner. Uh, so this is a really pow powerful spot. Again, uh, nading through the floor is pretty much your go-to for any soft floor spot, like nading through the floor, figuring out where it is. So as you can see, this is a double loaded bar. You just nade up. You can even nade like right here from this side and you'll, you'll get them. But nading through the floors is like the easiest way to deal with people in spots like this. You can open the single wall though. Opening this outer single wall is really, really strong on a gym attack, even if you're just going direct because it allows you to hold this guy in this corner. So you can't really do much from here. Actually, you might even be able to see him from there. This spot's good, but pretty easy to counter. A lot of people play on this bomb as well. Um, the window is just your go-to counter. You just pre-fire drones. Drones are your best friend. Uh, and then you have, so this is bomb. This would just be like the, the master bed. And then you have generator, this, which is really an engine. I guess this would be engine, not generator. I think I just call it generator because I'm stupid. But you have engine, and then you have mattress. So the mattress or the engine, you can call this either one. Uh, probably easiest to go based off the side. So like engine, mattress, and then you have couch. So this couch spot's also played a lot because you have the cover of the mattress to play it. Uh, and then you would reinforce this wall and have the cover from the gym window. So this spot, again, you can nade through the floor, either that or you can actually nade this one from the window pretty easily. So you have couch, and then you have bathroom. Uh, this would be toilet. This would be the shower. 
Uh, Capital flame from the window actually on this shower guy is super super strong. This is the the fucking squat rack. This is the siege press. Rip or let's freaking rep the set. So this is weight rack. A lot of people will sit here and contest the breach. This is a very very strong spot as a defender, especially if they don't go on your windows. Now a lot of attackers will get on your windows and make it so you can't sit here. And the counter to that is having a teammate punch the server window and kill this guy. So you you can counter this push by playing here. Which will then be countered by a guy playing here, which will then be countered by a guy playing here, which could then be countered by a guy out here. So that's Rainbow Six, everybody. Um, the other way to counter this guy on the weight rack, you can get up on this repel, and you can look down here into this rotate hole for anybody. Ro so that's the rotate, that's the gym rotate. And if they come crouch walking through that rotate, you can just shoot them in the head. So this repel is really, really good. Super underrated. You do have to be careful for them like wide swinging bathroom, which would just kind of be like crazy of them to do. But you do have to be careful of that. But that's a nice way to counter the guy kind of playing in this area. So if they are on his windows, he'll typically pl be playing between these two windows so he's not exposed to them while kind of like peeking up like this to contest the breach. So getting on that repel from right here is going to be really just ideal. This is stash, so or gold. A lot of people call this gold. So this is the money stash or where the gold bars are. So this tiny little square is gold. A lot of people sit here. You cannot nade through the floor, so it is a very good spot to play. Um, that being said, you can kill the guy here from this window, and you can kill the guy here from this window. So opening beside this reinforcement kind of pins him down. Really just like not very fun. So that way he's exposed to one of the two typically. I, honestly, I don't really have a call for this. I guess you, like, I don't even, what do you guys call this? Broom? Some people, I think, call it broom. Or electrical, I guess. But, like, typically you're just going to call this lodgy. It's not really going to be, you don't really need spe super specific stuff on this. Like, just the lodgy area. Uh, this body is cooler. So this cooler. Or, like, I think rampy sat here. I think it's called rampy as well. It's like rampy sat here and, like, killed a bunch of people one time. Um, but just, like, the water cooler. A lot of people sit here and watch the hatch or sit here tucked. This is a really good hiding spot if they don't drone you out with, like, a shotgun or something. You let them walk through. You shotgun them in the back. Whatever. You have the Lodgy desk. So this would be under hatch. So this would be Lodgy under hatch. Whereas this one would be behind the desk. Like, rat. Like, this is just a freaking rat spot in logistics where a lot of people hide, too. So this rat spot is super, like, super easy. Just nade from the hatch. But, like, droning this out is super important because... Um, yeah, I'll show you because you are very hidden make sure when you drone this you bring your drone over here to see if anyone's hiding here because It's a nice little spot. It's a nice little spot. So that's just the rat spot and then you have uh, Lodgy door which is this is typically just Lodgy door where a lot of people play You can't you got to be careful from the hatch because they can peek up here But a lot of these spots like you can't really counter from the hatch guys. So I open the hatch here a lot of people think that you can just counter like, oh, I fucked up. It does add pressure to the defenders opening the hatch, but you, you don't just instantly kill them by opening the hatch. Like, that's not how it works. Because as an attacker, yeah, sure, you can get on, like, the backside here, but, like, most people don't know how to do that. So, yeah, I could see maybe back here. I can see the door kind of, and I can kind of see toes if they go into stash. But I can't see, I can't, I can't actually, like, aim down any more than this. So if I go prone, I cannot shoot the guy over there. I'm just going to die. Whereas if I go like this, he's just going to blast my ankles off and I'm going to die. So, realistically, yeah, you could drop a nade in there like this and he has to run out. You can shoot him as he runs out. That's probably the best way to do it. If he's playing like this and you go to nade, he's going to kill you. So, realistically, like, the Lodgy Hatch guy is not, like, you have, a def you, have an, you have an advantage of a defender because you'll see his knees before he sees yours. So, if I'm swinging up on the hatch like this, I'm just aiming head level. I'm just going to shoot him whatever moving on we have the top floor hallway so this one is short and this one is long same as the basement so you have the long you have short you have the bathroom rotate you have the gym door sorry bathroom rotate gym door um so if you're on the default cam you can say he's pushing up long he's pushing up short he is jacuzzi balcony or tub so this is the hot tub or jacuzzi uh, and then you have the jacuzzi bout this one some people call this beer as well instead of long so you have beer hall and short so beer also works top main so this would be the main staircase so this is also top main uh especially if they're coming up the stairs so if he's coming up the stairs just coming up main he's top main now and then you know he, he's going short or he's going master or he's going lodgy right so you can kind of use those cams to actually give productive call outs okay so then we have main stairs and uh this would be just like main stairs window some people will spawn peek this so you kind of have to be careful 
of the main stairs window spawn peak. He's, he's spawn peaking main stairs window. Um, you kind of head your way down. Honestly, this is just kind of like main stairs. Nobody really calls this anything specific. Unless you're like a comp team and you're like actually have like beautiful callouts for every single thing. Uh, and then you have bathroom. So toilets or stalls. Um, nobody really plays here. If they are, they're just in the stall or they're in the corner or they're by the drone hole, which you can shoot them from outside through this drone hole. And then you have a uh, strip hall. Nobody really sits here either. This would just be like, whatever. I don't know. Call whatever you want. And then you have strip club. Now, specific calls on strip club are going to be based off your compass more, more than likely because most people don't know any calls in the strip club, including myself. Uh, you have the pole. You know, you kind of just, if you're, if you're droning someone in strip club and there's somebody actually in here, you're just calling based off what you kind of see. You know, he's behind the bar. That one's pretty obvious. He's by the pole. You know, he's by, he's in the, in the back hallway, the south hallway, tucked behind the, the red toolbox, like that, like stuff like that. Like you're just pretty much saying whatever you see in this, in this circumstance. Yeah, that's strip club. If there's a guy in strip club, you're going to say, there's one strip club, we can just hold him in there, whatever. Uh, and then you have pool table. So pool table, this would just be like the tuck of pool table because obviously it is a tuck in the pool table, which you can kill them from the bar window. This is a super easy counter to this. And then you have bar. That's the jukebox. So if there's a guy by the jukebox, this is the bar. So if there's a guy behind the bar, he's tucked behind the bar, he's hiding behind the bar, whatever. Uh, the double door to bar. This is like the, 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 the single door in bar. This is whatever. Call it whatever you want. <laughs> I love how half this video is me saying, call this whatever you want. This is whatever. You don't really like, I mean, most of these things you're like never going to call. So it doesn't really matter. A lot of people sometimes will also sit here behind the stairs. So this would just be the pool table stairs. A lot of, a lot of these call outs like are not universal. So it's very hard to be like, this is the universal call out for this when it's like, there isn't one. And then you have stage. So this is, this is stage. A lot of people sit behind the stage. He's, you know, he's crouched on stage. Uh, or he's tables. This is this is the tables area. Really, if if you're playing against bar defenses, you're either in the the best league of all time or the worst league, one of the worst. If that's the case, you probably have more to worry about than just callouts. And then you have lobbies. So a lot of people actually don't know what this is called. A lot of people just call this main door. But I find like this would be like outside would be like main door. I guess you can call this main, but like main stairs might be confusing with that. So just call this lobby. It's the name on the thing. Um, it just makes sense to call this lobby. Uh, compared to lounge so lobby going into lounge or lobby going into bar right based off like my movement there so he's outside main door he's in lobby he's coming towards bar he's in bar he's pushing through bar right now he's by the moto hatch moto hatch he's he's peeking main stairs he's peeking main stairs he's walking into main he's coming lower main right now he's walking down main stairs he's halfway down main stairs he's coming all the way down all the way down main stairs bottom main stairs so that would be like the sequence of college you get for this guy right here. He's coming kitchen hall. He's by kitchen door. Okay, he's in kitchen now. Yeah, you can nitro. Boom, he's dead. Okay, he's freezer. He's going outside. He's going towards dirt tunnel. He's going into dirt. Whatever. You, you can, you could, you could literally do this yourself. You could practice this yourself. You can go into a custom game, walk through the map, and see if you know all the callouts. Uh, this would just, this is kitchen. So this is the only room I think we have left. But this is where you would counter that back armory player, right? You open up the floor of kitchen. You open up the middle of kitchen. You open up the back. And now he's scared to sit in the back armory anywhere. You might get nitro. Who knows? You might get nitro, but kitchen is a very powerful spot. And the counter to the attackers actually coming into kitchen and playing this is making those holes in Lodgy as a roamer. Making these holes in Lodgy, whether it's with impacts or just gun holes or whatever, is not only a really easy way to kill people just sitting in kitchen, but it's just a good way to keep the hatch closed. Um, you can make holes up there as well to watch like the doorway here so if you're like solo roaming and ranked or whatever maybe you just play logi a lot of time you just won't even get cleared it's just kind of ridiculous uh but you can make the holes here you can make the holes here um so you can sit here shoot the stuff off the hatch you know even if you come here late once the hatch is already open you say hey i got your kitchen hatch drop like they can't drop the hatch they can't plant that's a default plan right there you know what i'm saying this is another actually good spot to play as a defender is is the main stairs if you're playing a shotgun playing this area is really really strong right because they walk down the main stairs, they're gonna they're gonna walk into a pump. You're gonna shotgun them into the face. They're gonna die. And a lot of people just simply will not do anything. They will just try to push this guy and maybe win the gunfight. Chances of winning the gunfight as an attacker on this are like probably like 30 percent, 25 percent. Like if you're going against even match skilled people, it's probably like 20, 25 percent. A much easier solution is opening the floor here. So whether it's breach charges, Ophia, Ash, whatever. If you open the floor here and he tries to run away, if he's playing aggressively on that, 
you shoot him in the you shoot him as he runs right he might look up through these holes you push down the stairs as you have a guy holding him from the holes you peek him together and he's dead whatever because if he tries to run up then this guy above kills him right because if i'm personally playing here with a shotgun and this floor opens me up, I'm, I'm like fuck i'm like fuck i am out because i know if i stay there i'm probably gonna get trapped either that or if i'm already deep up here when they open it I'm like, dang, I now have to get aggressive because I can't go back because they're holding me from the holes. So that that's the point where I maybe peek up and try to kill that guy, take him out, and then run back to escape. Or if I'm smoke, I can smoke the holes off, or I can nitro the holes, or I can use some sort of utility to get back. But you can open up all this hallway from above with sledge, um, whereas everything else is all concrete like you can't sledge anywhere else but you can open up all the hallway all of kitchen and you can kind of clear all the defenders out of those areas just with vertical play so that's the power of vertical play boys and that's um that's pretty much it for clubhouse